hi guys welcome 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 back again to yet another episode of my channel this is tech trust Ghana limited and welcome back okay yeah i think on the last episode we were changing the timber head um of a receipt printer that was the um the q3 batch printer today we are going to do the same thing for the q2 batch printer this morning when i was coming to work i was listening to a new music from Black Sheriff, a nice one. You guys should check it out. Um, Soldier, it's a nice tune. Yeah. Okay, so today we have a, a Q2 batch printer over here, it's just like the Q3 batch printer. But with this one, the model or the shape looks different. You can see over here. This is a Q2 batch printer. Okay, so. We are going to change the thermal head of this Q2 batch printer too, just like we did for the Q3. It's almost similar. The steps are going to be very similar. There's some slight changes over there, and then we are done. So, congrats if you were able to change the thermal head for the batch printer, the Q3 yourself. Congratulations. Let's go to the Q2. Okay. And then I have another episode up for you again. That is a laptop episode, so you might want to stick around and get an episode too. Okay, let's go. As usual, we are going to disassemble. And as usual, I have my camera head over here. You can all see for yourself. Nice and clean and neat. Okay, so with a Q3 batch printer, we change, we removed four screws from the back over here. It's going to be the same over here, just that this time around, their location may uh, vary a little over here. Now, we are going to get rid of um, two screws, first of all, from this side. We are going to take this off and then remove a screw over there. Take this off and remove a screw, a screw over there. And then we are going to come to this particular side. You can see that. We can either put leave it or do it now. I prefer to leave it now. In the meantime, you can see those two screws. But basically, after we take off these two screws, we should get access to um, the thermal head inside because we are going to take off the back cover just like we did for the Q3. So those two. Those two. Okay. And then as usual, just like the the Q3, this time around we have um the open side of this uh q2 printer over here so just a click and then we have it open just like that okay let's go again screwdriver and i'm going to look for something this is my tuesdays over here just to help me bring up bring up this plastic Parts of the best printer. That is just one, and that is the other. Okay, so now if you look in here, there are holes for me to bring out the screws over there. So let's see. That's one for you. Let's take out the second one. And that's the second one for you as well. So we have the two screws out here now. And let's flip this over. Open this side of the printer. As usual, I showed you how we will open it. Now, just like the bed printer where we took off the front. A case over here is the same thing with this one we just have to probably uh, this one have edges over here to just push it up like this so. and it's off and again you can see these are just the receipts of um, the shop is coming from so again you can see the cutter over here we have the cutter over here and then underneath the cutter again we have the Thermal head, the old thermal head we are going to replace. 
so we are going to get access to this and just like the q3 where we have four screws in here one two and somewhere here and there is the same thing over here too we are going to take those four screws out again and then we're going to have access and see whatever is inside this q2 printer so let's start by first taking off oh one screw is already out over here you can see that so i'm going to just take off this other one this other screw at this side and i go to the ones here and the ones here yeah. so i'm basically bringing out three screws okay then my magnet is trying to fill me that's one it seems another one has already been removed again looks like this printer has already been worked on before so i don't have all the four screws intact but if you have if you are working on a new one or one that has never been tampered with you should have four screws in there so i just took off two and then the thermal head and the cutter is already out this is because it looks like it's been tampered with so there are only two screws in there but the main one should have four okay so now again we are going to get access to the one below and this one like i told you it's going to be simple because this is it ah ta -da, you can see okay one of the things is in here okay, let's take out bits of bits this one comes with a lot of bits okay sorry guys i'm back sorry again. so now this looks a bit different from the q3 right but very similar don't worry i'm just going to plug this out you can see that because this is holding the bottom case over here i'm just going to plug it out so that you can put that one aside in the meantime now i have access to this so with, with the Q2, this is how you're going to see it. Everything is over here. You remember this cable? Just like in the Q3 where it was connected. The first two cables we disconnected to get access to the head. It's the same thing over here, these two cables. We are going to take them off again. One. Two. And then, you remember the, the cord over here too? Yeah, you remember this cord. It's the same cord we, we had over here. Let's take it off. Prefer taking that side off. Yes, so the printer is almost off. I just have a, a strip holding the cords. I'll just take that off too and then. Really so the printer is off you remember this black this black cord that's nothing to the printer it only gives it a ground okay you can choose to keep it or you can choose to avoid it Put it aside now so you see we have the old time out here just like in the q3 now we have the cutter on top so we are just going to take it off and just like the q3 where we took off three screws here we are again taking off three screws similarly so let's go okay, so guys the screws are hard enough just a moment just a moment guys just a moment okay let me first take out the screws okay two down one more okay the third one down okay 
So that is it. Remember how we took it off. So. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get a chat. Not to tell everybody.